Get okay, get me, gente. My name is Kevin. Welcome to Kev Does, and welcome to the most in depth bike packing setup video series you will ever see. Now, in the old days, people somehow got around without GPS, without phones, without smart computers that help you do everything, and I have no idea how they did because most days I can't find my way back home when I just go to the grocery store. So I'm not gonna do that in the mountains. So let's go ahead and review the tech that I brought to both document and to route my way on this trip. Starting off with the Wahoo Element Roam. This was my main, or my only GPS device. This, this is one of those things that is worth the money. It's pricey, I think it's close to $400. I got, you know, like $100 off from REI and a couple other things, so. I got it a little bit better price than that, but it's it's definitely, definitely worth the money. It keeps track of everything. It shows you your climbing that you have coming up. It shows you how far you've gone. It shows you almost any metric that you want while riding. It's And it also is your GPS, so it has the, the route on here. So it tells you when to turn, how far to go, how long to your destination, all that stuff. All the data you could want, it lasts a really long time. I only had to charge it. I didn't have to charge it every night, but I did just to top it off. But I think after about eight hours of riding with the full GPS every day, it was about 50%, 50 to 60% left still. So I think I could have gotten two days out of it easily, like two full long touring days out of this thing. So battery life is fantastic. It's small, it fits, it's easy to sync up to your phone and send the routes and everything there and then also to send the Strava, send the routes back to your phone once you've done them. It's, Wahoo did a fantastic job with this. I'd highly recommend it. Keeping on the Wahoo train, this is the heart rate monitor from Wahoo. I got it because it had the element and I wanted to keep track of heart rate to make sure that I stayed in zone two and all that. But uh, in general, I've had a fantastic experience with this up until recently. There were some weird connectivity issues and I had to like open this battery compartment up, wet these or wet these little things to actually get it to connect. And now what I have to do is I have to put this on first, then turn my Wahoo element on and then it works fine. I haven't had any issues since, but I think if I do it out of order or turn the Wahoo on first and then put this, it just doesn't recognize it for some reason. So I don't know if that's just mine. I don't know if you guys have had the same experience. When it works, it works great. When it doesn't, it's just really annoying. I felt like I brought it for no reason. Next, the thing that powered everything. So this is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack. It's not made by any brand. It's just something I got from my company as a little as a little gift, but surprisingly, it works great. It's really thin. It is a little long, but it fits perfectly in my frame pack and it charges everything. It charges everything all at once. It has all of these little outlets. So some I think there's only 3 in, but then it has 3 outs. Output 1, output 2. Three. Yep, three outputs, three inputs of different kinds. It's it's fantastic. I mean, I know everyone talks about those anchor battery packs, but until this thing dies, I'm not gonna do it. And it, I'm going on four or five years with this thing. Highly recommend. Next, all the cables. This is what connected to that battery pack. So what I brought was a little Apple wall charger. All that in a little hefty bag. Then I had Apple cable for my phone. I had a micro USB for the element and for my headlight. Oh, where's my headlight? I have a headlight. Shoot. Anyways, for the element and the headlight. And then this was the USB-C for the camera. And then I brought some extra batteries as well. My phone, iPhone 11. Yeah. And last, the thing that you guys should all be grateful for, the DJI Osmo Pocket. This is a really, really cool camera. It's amazing the quality of picture that comes out of this tiny little device. 
It can be stuffed almost anywhere. It's pretty rugged. You can see there were a couple drops and it still worked great. I have like no complaints with it. It also connects straight to your phone. So it's cool if you just want to check video or you know, when I was uploading Instagram things, like little clips, it was from this. I would just connect it and download it straight. And the only complaint with this is the sound. So as soon as there's wind noise, it has a little microphone right there and then one at the bottom. It, it doesn't do great with that. So I got to figure out a way to make the sound better. But aside from the sound, it's nice. It has a little screen here so you see what you're recording. It does an easy turnaround so you can just record you and then record something else. It has all the different modes to follow, to keep the horizon level and all that. A great, great little camera. Instead of bringing a full camera that I'm recording on right now, this is fantastic. The only other thing that I wish I could do with this was somehow attach it somewhere when I'm doing like gnarly descents. I'm thinking exactly what a GoPro does. You can, there's a million attachments for the GoPro that you don't have to hold it in your hand, but this had to be in my hand, which is why I couldn't do some of the descents. But it's still a great little device. Great, great little device. I think it's around $300. So if you're looking for a camera to take on adventures, that's what this is going to be for me now. It takes great, great picture. Once I fix the audio, it'll be a perfect camera, I think. Do you think you could do a trip without GPS. I'm honestly curious to know because I'm sure there's some amazing people out there who can go and do a whole cross country navigation without a trip. They just use a paper map and knowledge of where east, north, south, and west are <laughs> at all times. I'm really curious to know. If you have done something like that, make sure to put it down in the description below because I'd love to learn some more. Make sure to check out all of the videos that I've done so far in this series there's been a lot more awesome information just like this and also make sure to subscribe because just like there's been awesome information up to this point it's only going to get better from here so make sure to jump on and come along for the ride last my patrons thank you so much thank you so much for everyone who's decided to support this channel it means more to me than you will ever know but i hope to repay you back in awesome content and some awesome information Last, make sure to stick around because we're going to end the series with this next video. We're going to review what I brought as my water and cook systems because we got to eat. We got to eat. So stick around for that. Let's see you on the next one.